Kidney stones are crystals that form in uh, the urinary system. Uh, they can grow and become a problem, and they are present in about 12% of the population, so a lot of people have them. Kidney stones can present in many different ways. Uh, most commonly, they present with pain. People will usually complain most commonly of pain in their flank, which is the back area, and usually that pain can radiate or go anywhere into the abdomen. And so the most common symptom is pain. Rarely, when the pain or the kidney stone is leading to an infectious type picture, they will present with fevers, chills, nausea, and vomiting. There are multiple types of kidney stones. The most common type of stone is a calcium-based stone, and usually that's calcium oxalate. Those usually form in people with genetic history uh, or just form spontaneously. Uh, types of patients that get those types of stones are can be people who have had a gastric bypass surgery. It could be just the general population from dehydration, and those are the most common. Other types of stones include uric acid stones, which can occur in patients uh, on medicines, which can produce high uric acid levels, or in patients who genetically produce uric acid because their urine has a low, what we call pH, and that leads to acid stones. Other types of stones are uh, infectious stones, which occur in most commonly in women who have recurrent urinary infections, so we always look for that in the history. Uh, more commonly, what's happening is we're trying, we're getting more and more stones in kids or in the pediatric age population, and a lot of this has been linked to uh, the obesity epidemic that's occurring in the United States. Stone prevention has become a big uh, deal across the country, and uh, prevention is usually based on an assessment that we do which includes just how much, what kind of foods you eat, uh, to your genetics, if there were stones in your family, and depending on the type of stone that you have. Based on all those, we form a multidisciplinary approach and uh, treat. So to prevent, you need an initial workup, and then once that workup is done, it could be something very basic like drinking lemonade to having more intense therapy like medicines or uh, other therapies.